Hello guys, welcome to my channel Olatrix and this time we are starting a new video series on uh, Oracle Apex 20.2 okay so we will be starting everything from the scratch and I would suggest uh, my viewers or the beginners who wants to start the dev basic development on Oracle Apex uh, can go through the website of the uh, Oracle uh, itself and there you will find a Oracle learning library in which uh, they have given four different courses that uh, started for creating basic application with features 18 and advanced application feature you have that uh, Oracle application express 18 and theme also so you can uh, continue with this also or else you want to start from the scratch so you can continue with this video series also okay so I'm utilizing the apex.oracle.com so uh, let me log into my workspace okay so first of all you require to create a new workspace so I would suggest you to uh, go through the uh, link uh, in the description box I have already uploaded one so there is no change as far as the uh, creation of the workspace is uh, concerned it's uh, you can uh, uh, you can create it very easily so after that you can log in to this environment you know so this series is for those users who just uh, want to start their Apex development, okay? And uh, this time it will be a series on Application Express 20.2. That's the latest version of Apex, right? So let us understand the concept of uh, how this uh, environment is working. So like, uh, if we consider this, this one is Application Builder where you you know you can create your applications. Your all the applications uh, list will reside over here. And then we can have that uh, uh, SQL workshop here. You can fire your queries and something. This is a team development where you can see your milestones, sampling, and etc. And this is an app gallery, which is one, you know, pretty much uh, uh, inbuilt applications given where you can just uh, on the click event or you can just, let's say, for example, uh, yeah, this is uh, customer tracking, right? So you can uh, just install this app and take a look on this app, how it's working. Everything is given all. Every app uh, is a kind of application. You can install this app also. You, there are a number of options which you can utilize to learn the application development. Okay, fine. So we will be starting from the scratch. So uh, as far as the fundamentals is concerned, we need to learn that how the workspace and environment and schema is working right so whenever you register for an apex application uh, workspace so you will get a uh, one schema with you right once workspace is there like as i have this one and you will be having one schema where uh, generally we store all the data right into the database so currently uh, as far as the schemas is concerned so this is the schema name okay you can have multiple schema in same environment right but currently we just want to learn how to uh, develop an application right so in this one uh, we will be learning to implement or develop an applications from the scratch so first of all you need to create uh, click on this create okay new application fine uh, first demo application okay so let's understand one by one so this appearances just click on this one so here the theme styles is given like you can have this vista vista dark okay red and slate okay you can have multiple uh, views we can say right so next is the navigation so you can have a side menu as uh, uh, displayed over here you can have a top menu and you can have a mega menu if you uh, require like if uh, let's say for example if you want to have a um, uh, e-commerce website then you would be uh, requiring this kind of things right so next is you here from here you can choose your uh, icon based on the color of your theme let's uh, let's understand if you have uh, selected this red then I would be uh, yeah, selecting a logo like this one so that it can match the backgrounds also right so based on this uh, you can uh, change this anytime right so but uh, for time being we can have uh, let's say for example this one okay and set the application icon so everything uh, looks good so save changes and from here you can add number of pages from this page also but currently as we have do not created any table yet okay so we would be uh, not creating anything from this we will be see that particular things in the upcoming videos 
and this uh, features like check all so first one it uh, shows the about page access control will be there active reporting activity reporting is there configuration feedback and theme style changes right so number of things were there you can have uh, customized things over here uh, just click on create application it will create an application for us yes it's been created and as you can see uh, this is the environment where you can have a number of pages right so all the pages that you're creating that will reside here and if I click on any of the pages let's say this one login page so uh, this is the layout where uh, we will uh, be spending uh, most of the time uh, during the development right so this is the, the area where we can have the number of regions we can add, uh, add items into this one uh, like uh, well, let's say for example text field uh, list box and then buttons and etc uh, this is the area where you can have uh, see the uh, overall look or how it's looking uh, that's you know right uh, this is the page uh, properties component if I select this username then it will display the properties related to this field only right so you can have a look on this one so this is the first environment where we can uh, we are going to spend uh, most of the time so let me just uh, run on this application Oracle application express uh, gives you a by default uh, what we can say that uh, authentication scheme so if I uh, choose here now you need to provide that uh, schema name whatever you have uh, applied and just click on sign in yes it's we have selected the red theme and the icon that we which we have selected and from here you can have a navigation pan but as we have not in uh, created any page so it's not showing any uh, this is the administration page this page is uh, specifically meant for the administrator pur administration purpose only so you can have this top users application array for any page views and this okay number of things you can uh, take a look on this from here okay fine so uh, uh, now understand that how this uh, architecture is working if you uh, currently are an uh, administrator or as a developer then you may have a look like this one so uh, if you are running this application directly then you uh, will not get this kind of uh, theme roller quick page edit and this uh, pane over here so now uh, let's understand what is the use of it now understand that if, uh, if uh, somebody wants to make certain changes into this login credential page this page okay i want to change certain certain things over here so i'll be choosing this added page 9999 right so just click on this one and here you can see the username and password and this remember if you want to enable this one okay so we have understand this uh, the basic architecture then uh, this is the application express now uh, application development environment now second would be this one SQL workshop so from here you can create uh, your table your you can have a view on the existing tables okay you can have uh, take a look on this one so uh, number of tables of views are there so number of indexes sequence types packages whatever you have created then procedure function triggers and etc you can uh, take a look from uh, this pane now the next would be uh, how to create a table right so we would be creating tables from here so from this pane uh, we will be creating our tables views index and sequence etc but ultimately we are utilizing most of the time with this one table right uh, next thing would be uh, let's say for example if you have a table and you want to execute certain uh, uh, let's say uh, queries then you can use this SQL command so from here you can write uh, simple queries and you can have uh, a run here so this is the environment where you can you know have uh, SQL queries testing so uh, these are the two or three uh, most uh, frequently used uh, tools which you required if you want to start the application uh, development in Apex right so uh stay tuned and i'll be i will be uh, uh, uploading uh, some new videos on this series uh, so that you can uh, start development and uh, if you have any queries then you can uh, post in the comment section thank you thank you so much